Welcome to Travel About, everybody. Today we're doing a little food review again for you. We're at the Black Bear Restaurant in Cottonwood, Arizona. All right, to start off with, this place is bear themed. Everything is bear, bears, and bears. There's bears on the wall, there's bears outside, there's bears on the menu. There's... Get the idea. The menu, very interesting, the menu is a newspaper, the Black Bear Gazette. They have in information about the history of the uh, restaurant, and inside is your menu. Pretty awesome. The food prices here are very reasonable. I'll show you our bill when we're done. And we started off with a water and lemon, a Pepsi, and a huckleberry lemonade. That's right, I said huckleberry. What the heck is a huckleberry? A huckleberry is sweet, a little tart. They look like a blueberry and they grow primarily in the Northeast United States. They make great pies, jams, beverages, candies, and of course, ice cream. I'm reading that right off of their menu because they have a section called, what the heck is a huckleberry? Anyway, we'll be reviewing our food shortly. We both ordered the exact same thing. This restaurant is interesting because the menu is split up into basically a big portion or a small portion. So it's kind of like Papa Bear or Little Bear kind of thing. And uh, so we got the smaller one, the black, uh, what is it, the Bear Paw. Yeah, we got the Bear Paw instead of the Bear Claw. Anyway, we got chicken fried steak, uh, green beans, mashed potatoes, red skin mashed potatoes, uh, gravy on the chicken fried steak, and gravy on the potatoes. I think that's everything, right? Yeah. And uh, that's all going to be coming out here shortly, and we'll, we'll cut it, we'll look at it, we'll inspect it, we'll eat it, and we'll let you know if you should come out here and check this place out. And again, we are in Cottonwood, Arizona, uh, in the Verde Valley. Food has arrived. Red skin mashed potatoes gravy, chicken fried steak gravy, green beans, some um, orange peel there for decoration. And uh, she got the exact same thing. So to make it easy, since we have the exact same meal, I'm gonna let her cut into her chicken fried steak so I can hold the camera. That looks perfectly cooked. Cut a little piece off and give it a taste test. I'm gonna taste mine too, guys, don't worry. How's it going? It's good stuff? All right, give me a second, y'all. We're gonna, we're gonna do the same thing to mine. All right, we went ahead and cut into mine as well. They look exactly the same. Anyway, we're gonna give this a bite. Put a bunch of gravy on it. Let's see how it goes. Mmm. Good flavor, guys. Good flavor. Good gravy. Everything's good. Thank you. And uh, while we got the camera turned, we'll go ahead and grab some mashed potatoes and gravy. Same gravy, very good. And we might as well grab some green beans while we're at it. Hmm, yeah. Oh, these are green beans like from where I'm from, the South. Probably cooked with uh, some fat back in them. You can taste it, very good. There's bacon in there. Yeah, bacon bacon fat back whatever cooked so they're just kind of falling apart mm. haven't had a green bean like that in a long time a little, little more potato that's that we're gonna go ahead and eat this up and uh, I'll give you my final review zero to five at the end and uh, show you the bill Alright everybody, quick update. Uh, I finished my chicken fried steak. I'm almost done with my potatoes and I'm done with my beans. I love those beans. Wow. There's something about cooking beans with fat. That uh, just, man, it's just a crazy flavor. Anyway, let me talk about that uh, chicken fried steak real quick. It was perfectly coated. 
nice and crispy. The um, hamburger inside was just super tender, cooked perfectly well. I keep saying perfectly well, like well done. That's not what I'm trying to say. It was cooked correctly. Perfectly. Correctly. There you go. The red skin mashed potatoes, which shared the same gravy, were excellent, creamy, flavorful, delicious. Uh, would I order this again? I wouldn't even think about it yet. Uh, the potatoes are super creamy, as I was saying, and uh, we were just talking about dessert with the server. And apparently there's some desserts up front. All of the desserts are up front in the case. So uh, we're gonna walk up there and take a look and we'll see what they have for dessert. And maybe we will get something. I'll keep you posted. Little gift shop here. Oh, okay. Alright, here's our dessert choices. It's like apple pie. I don't know what that is. Some kind of cream pies. Some kind of chocolate thing. And an empty plate. That must have been a good one because it's gone. <laughs> Uh, that's what they have for dessert today. It's review time. Um, we're gonna do our normal zero to five. Zero goes in the trash can, and five is the greatest thing I ever put in my mouth. So um, I'm gonna give this a pretty solid four, a real solid four. Um, I've had a lot of chicken fried steak, you know where I'm from, and uh, that's a mainstay. We have it all the time. Uh, there was absolutely nothing wrong with it. It was fantastic, uh, but it was uh, I wouldn't call it exceptional. But man, it was good. I'd get it again, two seconds. So uh, we'll give it a solid four out of five. And uh, that's a pretty high mark in my book. It's hard for me to give anything a five unless I'm, unless you go back and watch my Cosmo videos. <laughs> I think everything was a five. The place was amazing. Um, and that's it. Bill's gonna come out here shortly. I'll show you that. It's very inexpensive. Uh, we'd come back here. We're gonna be here for three weeks. We probably will come back here. The breakfast looks phenomenal. So uh, you might see a breakfast review soon from the black bear, I don't know. In this food review of the Black Bear restaurant, Black Bear Diner. Uh, make sure you leave me some comments, hit that bell for notifications, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, prefer the one up. Uh, either one's fine. And uh, share the video if you can. Stick it out there on Facebook, or YouTube, whatever you can put it on. And we'll see you guys somewhere out here in Arizona soon.